Hi, my name is Skylar Stasny and welcome to Curiosities of Kopsha Home. As the curator of Kopsha Home, I know that this historic house is an extremely important way to share the history of the Oliver family, the home they lived in, the company they built, and their contributions to our community. Today, I'd like to tell you about Tiffany Glass. Louis Comfort Tiffany um, established his company in 1885, and that's when he started becoming interested in stained glass. What he did differently, though, was he worked with the impurities in the glass to create different textures and different colors. So he started off working with glass that wasn't as top tier as some of his competitors were working with, and used that and the impurities in that glass to create some of the different colors that he was using. So he also used those impurities along with different chemical formulas to create those colors. So for example, one formula was for silver nitrate, uranium, manganese, arsenic, and potash nitrate. And that created a color called gold luster, which was a signature color of his company. Uh, most of the glass in the mansion is either Tiffany or Tiffany inspired, and most of it is what's considered opalescent glass. So what that means is that it has uh, several different colors in it, and it also refers to how the light reflects off of it, making it kind of an iridescent shade instead. Tiffany glass is what's also known as leaded glass, which basically means that it is fitted into leaded canes, which is essentially um, like construction beams, so like I-beams when you're building something. And they're fitted on either side of those beams to create the shape like you see in the dome here. There are several different examples of opalescent glass in the mansion. There is the dome in the reading alcove, a uh, few of the windows here in the den, and then the window above the front door. However, there, was, there used to be a lot more Tiffany glass in the mansion. Um, originally, before the music room became the music room, it was an outdoor terrace and there were doors and windows that led out to there that was Tiffany glass. There also used to be a reception room right off the main hall that included Tiffany glass and also had a glass dome installed inside of it as well. And you can see kind of a little bit what that looks like in some of the blueprints that we have. The Tiffany Glass Company also had several women that worked there. They worked in the glass cutting department and were responsible for cutting the glass for the mosaics for the windows, as well as the patterns that were done for the lampshades that they produced. By 1897, there were around 40 to 50 women working in the factory alongside the men. And one woman in particular was Clara Driscoll, and she was responsible for the floral designs that were used on many of the lampshades. Now there's only one company left that produces the colors that Tiffany designed as well as his mosaics and that's Kokomo Opalescent Glass and they're responsible for continuing the use of different patterns as well as being able to use the multiple types of colors that Tiffany created and they're responsible for restorations of the glass in this mansion and so Having them be so close is actually really nice for those repairs or relighting of the glass. Makes that nice 
sound there. You can see that that glass is not actually cut, nor is it cracked. It's just scored. And I can take my morning pliers here. You see that little frowny face that it makes? Yeah, we take that and put it right against that line. Thank you for joining me today. This program is part of our Curiosities of Cropshaw Home series. We offer guided tours of the Oliver Mansion and also invite you to visit our website for more information. See you next time.